y'all are getting ready with me again i put too much lotion on i got streaks in my face now fixing my wig yesterday was fun all we did was get drunk i had like plans to do stuff yeah i had plans and tickets for things yesterday did not happen did not happen we didn't get to none of it we stayed and we got drunk off the 1800 we ate and ate and ate we went back to fork in the road and then this morning it's like maybe 10 o'clock right now this morning i dropped my friend back off i was so sad but i'll see him again um today my friend is coming we have some plans and uh i'll start vlogging when i actually get into stuff i didn't really record that much yesterday because what do, what do i need to record us being drunk for Up yet. I don't really want to get ready like that just to go to a waffle house. <laughs> so, but fit check, fit check. Top AliExpress. We love AliExpress. One of ones. You can't buy these, but they're from Or Die Fly Apparel. Atlanta based. So perfect for right now. And then, you know, Rick owns replicas. So. Let's go to Waffle House. <laughs> this outfit is a little bit much for Waffle House, but it's gonna be my all day outfit, so. It's an outfit for anything. It is an outfit for anything. I look so fly. I look so fly. Okay, let's go. Same purse I've been rocking every day because it just happens to match all my outfits, so. Oh, I didn't brush my teeth. Look at me, musty. They love the AC out here. I wish I would have brought my sweater. You want to play? Yes, because it's cold. This is what it's looking like. I gotta see what it's hitting for. Oh! Oh! Waffle House was actually pretty good. I haven't had Waffle House since I was a kid, so I didn't really remember it, but it was decent. I could see how I would love this if I was drunk. But yeah, for the most part, the main thing that stuck out to me was the service, the lady, which is really nice. And yeah, that's all. Who did my hair really did her thing? Because I've been sweating it up in Georgia. Look at it. Scalp. Still scalp. And I got two compliments from these ladies at Target today about my hair. I don't feel like putting makeup on today. For some reason, I'm feeling cuter with my natural face. So we're gonna go with the wave. We're about to go smoky smoky outside. My friend is find. stuck in traffic. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for the music, but I'm sipping a little drink. Because of the music you're playing. I got a little drink. I got a little sip. I'm getting ready. First night out in Atlanta with my bestie who drove all the way here. Period. Per. I'm getting lit. Cheers. We poured ourselves. I got Duce and Fago. Red Red Fago. She got Hennessy and Coke. Coke. And we're about to get ready to go out to eat. I just finished my makeup. I'm ready to catfish. And I do the same makeup look literally every day. This shit is not anything new. And I'm ready to finish my drink. Ready to finish my drink for sure. Kind of want to wear my hair back today. Like, should I do a ponytail moment? It's kind of hot out. I feel like I can pull it off. There's like lace in the back that I'm just praying does not show through with the ponytail, but I don't think it will. I think a little pony is cute. I'm just sweating way too much to keep wearing the hair down. Yeah, that's cute. That's not ratchet at all. Okay. 
My friend is a vegetarian, but she really wanted to go to this vegan restaurant. So we went to Vegan Fix, or it was the Urban Fix, excuse me, H-E-R-B Fix. And it was actually pretty good. Thank you. First dinner in Atlanta toast. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Because it would be a waste. Thank you. Let's Try this. It tastes just like grapefruit. Y'all want to try mine? You can. Let me take a sip sip of okay. yours. It's got a little kick to it, I like it. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like cherry. Out of all the drinks I had in Atlanta, the Urban Fix had the best drinks, the best tasting drinks that I tried this whole trip. Vegan crab cakes are hitting. I haven't tried that. Sauce, the sauce is good. We got the vegan crab cakes as an appetizer and let me tell you I wish I would have ordered more food when I was over here because it was slamming. You see me fucking it up. Okay. I had gotten some vegan dumplings as an appetizer and I should have gotten a full blown meal. It was so good. The flavors were there. The texture was hidden. I had no problems at all with my food. I had to go round two on the drinks because they were just going so hard. But you can see me effing it up. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. We swung back to the hotel to go roll up and also because I always have to check in on my doggies. Today is the first day I actually picked my outfit first and it was easy as fuck because it's a two-piece. Well to get ready. <laughs> I was mad drunk last night. I did not vlog anything after we left the restaurant because I was fucking lit. Then I saw my friend who was driving by from Florida to Kentucky. He stopped by, we smoked. It was nice to see him. Everybody's been making pit stops to see me. Been having a good ass time. This is definitely a top tier vacation for me. I was trying extra hard to get super cute because we were going to the selfie museum this day. I was really feeling that two piece if you're wondering where it's from. Again, AliExpress. And yeah, I just do my makeup the same every day. So there's not really much else to say here other than I did feel like a fly bitch when I got out of this bathroom. And if you're not feeling like that when you leave the bathroom, go back in because look at us looking mad fucking cute. Look at my nose contour, sis. I slayed that. And you know how we had to get ready before we left. So we got our stuff ready and we hit the selfie museum. I don't really have a lot of video from it because we took pictures. And honestly, there was like a decent amount of people there. I didn't really feel comfortable like vlogging around me and kids and whatever running around. But to be real, it was mid. It was mid as fuck. Um, if you have nothing else to do in Atlanta, I guess it's worth it, but I feel like the price point for the tickets was too much for what you got, and the lighting wasn't even that good. A few moments later. After that, we headed to Roll Up Ice Cream, which was super smacking. I think I liked it more than Sub-Zero, but I love ice cream. One thing about me is if it's warm outside, I'm eating some ice cream, and you see that. I like how it comes in like a roll, like mm -hmm. it's a roll. Mm. 10 out of 10. I got the monkey lady, what'd you get? Um, something with mango and strawberry in it. Oh, sunset summer something. Summer love Summer love Gotcha. I love that they put real fruit in the ice cream and real fruit on top of the ice cream. Like, all these little pink spots are actual grinded up strawberries. I forgot to vlog me changing my outfit, but... 
the top is a swimsuit from Fashion Nova. I got the puffer jacket from Shein. And the pants are from Jaded London. And that's about it. We're going to a drag show. And I want to be comfy and cute. We are, we are comfy. Yes. We are cute. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. This right here was my favorite thing that I did in Atlanta. I went to a lips drag show, which was really fun and fly, and it was worth every penny that I spent on it. I had never been to a drag show before, so this was my first one, and it was well worth the money. The entertainment was it, the music was it, the vibes were it, the service was it, everything about it was it, okay? And there was just plenty to do and talk about while we waited for the show. They had little shot glasses, shake leg lips that you could take as a souvenir if you got a shot, but I was on the mixed drink wave, so I didn't get one. All right. Oh, here. Ready? The drinks, in my opinion, were definitely not the best in comparison to what I had already tried in Atlanta, but they were very strong. So if you want to get fucked up, you go to Lips, because they're going to put some liquor in your drink, and they're going to get it in your system. The decor was so amazing. We kept finding new stuff to look at everywhere we went. The detail was just impeccable and we did wait a little while from when we got in to when the show started but to be honest we were there very early and the seating started on time like perfect fucking timing so i really didn't have any complaints i knew we would probably be vibing for a while and like i said the music was right the playlist was bumping and because we had extra time we had plenty of time to go over the menu and figure out what we wanted to eat during the show My mom was having a blast and that made me so much happier to see her having a good time because this was her birthday celebration as you could see by the crown on her head and I had ordered lasagna, it was covered in sauce but it was bomb. Everybody got a huge plate of food and this is my mom going up for, you know, you'll see in a second what she's going up for. <laughs> Everybody say, hey, bitch. Hey, mom. This is where you're from. Boston, Massachusetts. Yes. Okay, Boston here, baby. What you do for a living? You're a Boston public school teacher right here. Public school right here. Yes. They could be watching y'all bad-ass kids in the next Yes, she does. And how old are you, baby? You lying? <laughs> she look good as hell. 52 years yes. old. 51, but it was loud in there. Let's go, Mom! And now back to your regularly scheduled program. We asked the receptionist at our hotel what was a nice place to go at night, and he told us about Impulse Lounge. So we went over there. Ignore the brat, there was a girl and a guy sitting next to me, and I'm just respecting their privacy, but it was a vibe. It wasn't anything too crazy. But this is the end of the vlog. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. I think we got one more part to this series.